Welcome to DS Trucks. We are bringing in the new year with a snow event. This is the first snow event of the year and we are hooked up and ready to go. I am actually about to get in the truck and go and pick up one of the guys who needed a ride because he's here from college and he doesn't have a car here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get in the truck, pick him up. See you guys at the next scene. All right, guys. So we're in the truck headed over to pick up Someone has worked for me before in the past. He went off to college, but worked out good. He is home from college, but his car is down there, so I'm going to pick him up. And even if his car was here and looking at this weather, dang, I wouldn't want to be driving anything less than a 4x4 truck. I mean, even a 450 right now, it's kind of weird. Like we're, It feels like we're in like a jet ski or something. Sometimes the rear just kind of kicks around. Now, normally it's pretty good in the snow, but... Uh, it's so slick out today, man. It's like the perfect storm. We had like a bunch of 40, 50 degree days. We had some warm ground temperatures. And then all of a sudden we snapped down to 26 degrees. 26 degrees. And then we get like, we probably got like two to three inches of snow. But the, the ground temps are still warm. So it's just making it super slick. So out of that two to three inches of snow that came down, it probably melted down to like one to one and a half inches. But it's just the mess that's underneath. Like if you had to stop quick, ew, good luck. Your ABS is going to be going. You're going to be stopping in a different spot than you intended. So now it's most definitely a time to be super cautious uh, while driving. But the 450, it, uh, it does well in the snow believe it or not it does pretty well in the snow uh as you see we are making our way this isn't the worst we've ever had in it but the thing about this truck being so heavy and these tires not being rated for snow these are the continentals sometimes like i was saying earlier if you're not careful you'll realize how much little traction there is and it'll kind of it'll kind of want to do something else on you so Either way, uh, we're going to be testing out the Wrangler Duratrax on our 250. That should be a little bit more confident. Still no reason to speed, but that should be a little bit more confident. I'm actually rolling with Tyson. He uh, decided to come along to pick up the other guy. Uh, I'm actually running a little late, guys, because I, I'm telling you what, guys. I woke up this morning, and this is how I'm bringing in 2022. Uh, I woke up this morning and I could not find my keys. I couldn't find my keys for the life of me. So I'm rummaging the house. I was supposed to pick this guy up at 4 a.m. That was the plan. Well, I'm rummaging, looking for the, the keys. Finally find the keys. Then I'm looking for my camera so I can mount the camera on the outside of the truck. Guys, I can't find my camera to save my life. So I'm one camera. I do have my drone. So maybe Tyson can fly the drone or something or somebody can fly the drone. But yeah, I mean, oh, there's a little snow crew right there. Seems a little early to get started on residentials, but I don't know. Maybe maybe with the ground temperatures being the way they are, if you were to shovel out all your residentials now, maybe anything further, any continuing snow would just melt. No one's going to be open today, right? It's Sunday? I know, right? We can just... So, we'll be all right. Oh, yeah. We don't have openings. Yeah, so we don't have to rush. No, I guess we can fuck around then. Uh... Excuse me, mess around. You are right. I have to edit that. I'll just keep it in for content. I guess we'll have to mess around with the plow. We can, whatever. I think Joe might have like a lot or two that needs help with. Oh, bet. Yeah, he's got a big lot <laughs> that he needs help with. Oh, we got this fucking Kroger at this point. It's a freaking Dunham's or something. Oh, Jesus. Some crazy, something ridiculous. Well, ain't no Gordon Foods. But guys, that's how I'm bringing in the new year. Like, losing everything. Whatever, not a big deal. But I know this year I want to do better. You know, guys, I know this year, I 2022, was. I just want to do better in general. You know what I mean? Gotcha. You know, I just want to do better in general. I want to get my diet right. I know every time, every year on the holidays, I slip. As far as diet is concerned, every every year on the holidays I slip. Uh, this year was cheesecake, cookies, candy, every you name it. 
you name it. And I really want to take January and get it to get it all squared away and get it together and get my like my nutrition right, my intermittent fasting right. I really want to do better there. Uh, but mainly, even more so than that, I want to do better with the crew. You know, I know I've made a lot of mistakes with my guys. I lost my brother Jacob. He no longer wants to work or talk to me or whatever. And, you know, I just want to work on my leadership abilities on the, in the crew and all that. You know, and I know that I could do a lot better. And, you know, that that's going to be a big that's going to be a big focus this year is just making sure that I treat the guys right and uh, can be a good a good leader for the crew. So that that's that's going to be a big focus in 2022. I think in 2019, 19 was kind of like the start of the bug. We won't say the V word, but it was the start of the bug to the, the end of 19. So 19 was kind of going normal. But then 2020 came. And guys, 2020 and 2021 for me was a blur. I lost all my guys. 2020, I lost all my guys. And I hired and hired and hired. And 2021, hey, I lost all of them again. Like, I've been through the cycle of people. It's been insane. Then Tyson came along. He's been a good help here in 2021. But it's been hard, guys. It's been hard. And I'm glad when things are hard, it feels so good to have made it and not have quit. So good to have made it and not have quit. You know, so I'm happy that I didn't give because, you know, for a minute there, for a second, I did kind of want to give in. You know, I did kind of want to give in when there was days where I had to work totally by myself, doing all the lawn work. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, it's like doing all the doing the long route by myself, you know. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know that feeling where you're just the steering is just not there. Oh yeah, that's why I'm ripping out the door handle, But yeah, guys, uh But yeah, working on my leadership and all that. I forgot what I was actually talking about. Yeah, leadership stuff. But yeah, I mean, that kind of, that, that pucker effect. Maybe there's a lane that's been plowed over here. This is from the compression. Like, the tires have made compression. And now it's just, you know, like little icy footprints when, when, when people walked in the snow. That's kind of what we're dealing with now. Uh, yeah. You said he's... you worked for you before? Have I worked for you? No, I don't think you have. Uh, yeah, worked for me. 2020. Oh, yeah. During the snow? He helped, he helped a little bit during the snow. I was there a little bit during the snow in 2020. But he worked like a day because he was here from Florida. He's got He's in college. So he worked like a day. But uh, anyway, guys, that's pretty much uh, it. Uh, I'll see you guys at the next scene. Uh, maybe I'll put two hands on the wheel. I, I get that a lot. Like, you're not safe. It's not safe. You're holding the camera and you're driving. Is your focus? So people say that. So I'm going to put two hands on the wheel. It's pretty treacherous out here. But anyway, see you guys at the next scene. Are you recording? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so this is pretty much the first real plow of the year, guys. I haven't really, we haven't had any snow. Let's see if I still got it. All right.
All right, looking good. Got a nice little pile. Try and grab some of this back. Give me that fucking snow. Give me that snow. I know I'm not good. Everybody's gonna say, you, you suck. You suck at plowing. I know. What do you say? Oh, yeah. I do kind of wish I got a little closer to the building on that first pull, but what are you going to do? Maybe I can go up in there and redo it. I hope he didn't get blasted. <laughs> it's a little slippery there. I don't want, I don't want to go through that fence. Probably looks sweet though. Really, it's the best for uh, snow. Yeah, but the rims are like commercial rims, so you gotta like switch the whole rim. Oh yeah, they're like five grand just for rims. Another five for tires, it's insane. But it will look so sweet. <laughs> 
like it would be the look would be just freaking insane maybe it'll like write it off or something yeah you could probably probably I don't know Um, it might work, but it might not. It might be a little excessive. I don't know. It's a tough one. Definitely a tough one. You know? Because it might not be considered ordinary, an ordinary expense. It may be I'll write this truck off for sure. Yeah, they say no, they say no. Man. Well, no, they always say yes, but they might come back later down the road and be like, no. And be like, you owe XYZ. Yeah. You know. Man, well, this was like, like 80. I remember when you were talking about it. Like, it's yeah, it's, it's stickered at that, but that's not really what people pay. I mean, they do now because of, of, of COVID and stuff, but. I got this, uh, when I got this, it wasn't, it wasn't 80. No, I custom ordered it and stuff, and it just wasn't, it just wasn't, uh, that much pressure yet in the market. Like, you get, like, when I order this, this would be more than a normal truck. Yeah, like a normal, like, uh, pickup. Yeah. Yeah. But it was still, like, you can get a little break. Now they probably charge you more money for this. Right, right. Well, especially with the supply shortages. Yeah, they'd be like, they'd be like, well, that you gotta pay more than a sticker. So the sticker's eighty. Normally, you don't pay sticker. Right, you pay a little bit below because they get deals or something. Yeah, I got the employee discount. Oh yeah, I forgot you had that too. Plan. Yeah. Now that employee discount, they may not have to be able to avoid that one. I mean, that's contractual and shit. That, you can't just be like, oh, yeah, we don't want to give you that no more. Right. They kind of got to. You've done it for so long. It's part of the deal, you know. Yeah, Ford does that. And GM and all of them would do it, too. Yeah, they all do that. And then the unions would be like, oh, hell, like, uh, nope, not doing that. Um, honestly, the unions, they probably wouldn't have that much power in that department because they got so much other shit to worry about. They probably wouldn't be able to fucking do shit, to be honest. They probably wouldn't. They're, they're, they're more concerned about the fucking labor. Like, yeah, they're not about to be able to hold that, hold a stand against some fucking, uh, discount. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the place that worries right now. Yeah. Strip here. Concrete. The, uh, they fix that. Yeah. FYI. All right, come on. What you doing? Just thinking. Oh, shit. Sure, here he comes. So fucking icy. What more were you expected to get? It literally. It literally. It literally stopped. 
it stopped. And then it, that's why I'm like, let's go hit this. And then it restarted. And then it's restarting. So it's like, eh, whatever, fuck it. Uh, either way, you'll have the main base off. Yeah. All this stuff will be run. And you're really already have the salt down and everything. Here. Look at that. That's the big pile there. That could be better. So what are you going to school for? Academy. Oh, okay. Related, related to accounting, or is it just... Yeah, it's just kind of like the... Oh, like, how do you find the... Like, how much tax is this person going to pay for this? And then they give you just a bunch of numbers, and you have to solve it. So that's kind of like math, like, problems. It seems weird, though. Is it doesn't, like... Yeah, pretty much. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, once I get a job, then I'll actually start mm -hmm. working. Right now I'm just kind of learning the basics, so I know what I know what somebody's talking about when they're talking about like taxes or something. Like that. Yeah. But yeah, I got about so I'm probably gonna graduate. down there are so weird you would actually just come up here well it's not just that it's just like also like um, i kind of miss the seasons too yeah like, it, you have you're a hockey like, guy and shit right yeah you know? snowboard and everything like um and there's not ice cream two and a half So we were, it was just me and my friend, we were going to a, a movie, and uh, beforehand we wanted to get snacks, and we were kind of... Super innocent. Yeah, no. Like, but, dog, I'm just trying to go to a movie and get yeah, some snacks. Exactly. Shop. So we pulled in, you know, it's a movie. Yeah. Right. Station, and so I think those are some movies. For some reason, we ended up at a Circle K, and uh, we walk in, and there's a whole lot of like, inside the door, and right next to the counter. You had to walk past him when you walked into the store. And he was basically, we're like, hi, how are you? Like, what are you, what's up? And he's like, hi, how are you just doing? Very good. And we, like, walk past him. And then he, he's like, proceeds to ask us for money, like, as we're walking past him. And then we're like, yeah, no, sorry, dude, we don't got any money. Legitimately. Right. Because then, like, we're not going to look at him. Or, like, he's like, we said, looked at him, we said hi and everything, but he's asking us for money. It's like, okay, we're just going to, I'm not going to. He didn't like that so much. And it was like me and my two like all of us are like white white kids from the suburbs, right? And this dude was a homeless black dude, kinda of cracked the fuck out on something. And he's like, Man, motherfucking white kids won't look at and he said like N word in Won't the look eye. a nigga in the eye. Like, I swear to God, I got a gun in my pants right now. I'll pull that shit out right now. And we're sitting there like, is this dude really about to shoot us because we didn't look at him in the eye when he asked us for money? It's like, like what? <laughs> and then, or like you'll see people on the side of the road just tripping on Molly or like. Uh, yeah, we'll get out in a second.
Did you used to play basketball here? No. I just remember it because of the route. Like, Must be. Yes, sir. There's, as far as commercials? Yeah. As far as cutting them, yeah, but uh, plowing is a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Simpler. It's simple. Anybody could just jump in there. Cody did pretty good. Remember Cody? Oh, Cody? Yeah, no, yeah. I was wondering how he, yeah, he, how much, he worked for you for like the winter, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he didn't come back. No, he's, yeah, he's got a, a waiting job right now. And they're just like blowing workers and they're paying him so much just because they don't, nobody else is doing that. So he's making good money. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad it worked out because I knew, I knew he would be a lot better working. <laughs> yeah. All right, jump in here. Jump in here. Jump in, yeah. I'm the best cameraman, I swear to God. Yeah, that spot, that spot's a little weird, isn't it? Like it's like Ooh, so it leaves behind. Freaking! Uh, you still got it recording? Mm-hmm. All right. Guys, scene two. All right, guys. So this is how I run my controller. I wanted to show that off. So what I do is I. There's no light. What about now? Still. What I like to do is I like to left hand control, right hand steer check it out so right now as you can see I can steer I can maneuver the plow I can control it and everything can be done without me like for example shifting take a look at this if I got to shift into reverse I can simultaneously shift into reverse this kind of sucks with these cars these trucks parked back here like what are they doing <laughs> I can simultaneously shift into reverse this is annoying all right so this kind of sucks but we'll, we'll figure it out scoop get up in there tight Woo. How was that plow work on that side? Was it all right? Yeah. No, I mean on the other side of the building. Was that rusty looking or? I don't know. Leave it up to your viewers. Yeah, they'll they'll <laughs> let me know. <laughs> they will let me know. He sucks. He's not going left to right. I right say you do better than me. So I think you look. You think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> What if I like freaking smack that mirror while he's hanging out there? That would hurt so bad. Uh, hell yeah, would. Bing! Uh, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> that's like the last thing you'd say. You, that's what that's what you'd say. Then you'd be dead. <laughs> like what the fuck? Hey, bro. <laughs> Does not hurt the cameraman, all right? My mom's gonna fuck you. Next, I'm like, oh fuck! I gotta talk to to Claire. Damn right. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> I gotta answer to her now. Fuck. You're like, yeah, I know he'll get beat for that. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, see you soon <laughs> in heaven. <laughs> see you soon in heaven because you'll be right. joining me. <laughs> like, you know what's worse than that? Just a regular punishment giving you the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> no, your ass. You'd be like, <gasps> no, you did
Yep. Simultaneously being able to shift and not take your hand off of the controller at all for, an, for even for a second. It's nice, you know. Controller just stays right there. I'm steering. Then watch this. As I approach this dumpster, simultaneously shifting and, and maneuvering the plow. Give me that fucking snow. <clears throat> Give me that flipping snow. Yeah, we're, in, we're on YouTube, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that we snow. Still this yeah, we'll get it. See how it gets. See how it got closer to the dumpster as you drop it. Yeah. That A-frame kind of takes up that slack. So this is where it gets a little bit weird. Um, this front part, uh, I gotta really think about how I'm gonna approach that with these trucks back there. Usually I back all the way out and I'm able to um, get it, but I gotta think about it now because I can't back all the way out. My truck's too long. So when I go to back up, how am I gonna really do this? Do I like back drag it? What do I do? Maybe I should, should I back drag it? Maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'll push this like this. And I'll turn around. Don't hit the gate. You hear that ABS going. Like a little it's bit more. fun in here. Wow. Little bit more, a little bit more ice and I'm through that gate. I should almost just turn on my spreader to like level one just to get something. That's ABS, so yeah. Just like we're one and well, I'll turn my spinner up, but we're one, we're level one, we're minimum salt, but we're just doing something to keep, <laughs> so, it, so that I don't slide into something by mistake. Yeah. Like, I don't see why, because we can barely get shit in here. Well, I can put that one out there, I guess. Oh, yeah. It does have a little It'll, It's just, uh, it might get so wet. It's just like, man. Okay. All right, so... Yeah, I could go like this if I want. Kind of crazy. So I'm actually going to back drag this because it's a problem. That is a weird spot for the park. Yeah. Mm. And then I'll, that way I can back up more. So the danger of plowing is when you got somebody in you in your truck, like for a guy like you who's new, and when you're talking and whatever, bullshit and whatever, that's how you get into an accident. You know what I mean? So it's almost like once you start plowing, you just gotta be like, let me just focus on this shit real quick. I can talk and plow, because I've been doing it. But when you're new, you cannot talk and plow. 
see how that works controller simultaneously being able to control stuff Well, that's what I'll probably put that one. I'm probably on the grass. I was on that side. And I was like, fuck on the grass. But God damn, he went right over that bitch. <laughs> we'll see. You didn't even hit the grass, did you? We will see. Yeah, this game is so weird. 50%? Alright, cool. Like cool. Cool, cool. Right, right, oh, I got, I got a charger. Of course you do, I'm just saying. It's already on 50 So, yeah, I, you know what I've noticed? The bigger I make my plow on this, the harder it is for me to actually scrape the lot. You know what I'm saying? Well, because this lot's not leveled at all, so it's yeah. not leveled. That's what people were saying. Like, you're not making your plow big and you're not getting it. Like, listen, there's a reason. You know, you dealing. You shouldn't dealing. really be making that kind of voice to the viewers that watch you. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about me. I'd like, <laughs> be like, oh my God, he's abusing us. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, there's a reason I'm not always uh, all the way wide with my plow on this property because it's not flat go back a little further because it's not flat and it doesn't scrape well if I'm all the way wide so it just takes me a little bit longer to just go with a regular 8 foot blade yeah now I'm not all freaking ABS out because I did a little Level one salting here. Give me something, you know. How how crazy was that guy who put all that salt in that truck? Who knows? He's probably drinking a lot of Red Bull. Oh yeah, that's a big issue. Red Bull drinkers. Yeah, that's probably most of your viewers right now. You probably be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you probably be well, careful, remember man. remember um. Tyler, he, this guy uh, at the Nazi that we hired, he was a hardcore Red Bull. Well, he was like a Mountain Dew oh, energy. Yeah, it was Mountain Dews he was drinking. And the Red Bulls. And the See, like, this is where you get comfortable. You're talking to your buddies in the truck. You're plowing. Next thing you know, bang, what? I just backed into that fucking truck. How did I do that? Damn, I've been talking about that truck this whole time. I backed into it like a fucking idiot. But no, uh, he was he was slamming these he was slamming these uh, Mountain Dews, and like he was all wired. Like what the heck? Like bro, you all right? Maybe you should chill with that. What the fuck? I gotta try it. it. They're pretty good, but it's uh, something else. It's one of the energy drinks that like give you cancer. Like, you know, like, <laughs> so people were drinking when I was in college days. People were drinking four locos. Oh yeah, no, I, I just had one of those the other day for the first time. Oh, they still have them. Yep, they still make them. They're still three dollars. <laughs> still. $2, still $3. <laughs> that's that's problematic. When mm. something doesn't change its price. You have to wonder, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, what's in this? That you didn't even have to raise the price, like those dollar iced teas. If they're yeah. still ninety nine cents Man, now, they were like, so good, bro. dang, are you not infected? Are you? Is this company not affected by inflation? Well, I can see, I can see tea, tea, tea don't cost that much. But maybe exactly. they made the tea like with like twenty years ago. <laughs> so it's just sitting, but it's just sitting there. So like, we don't have to raise the price because we made it in two thousand eighteen. So. Like, how can the price of tea, Arizona tea, be so stable? It's they never... They buy all the time. Like, it's never gone to $2. So it's like... Yeah, I don't even need that. Yeah. So it's like, your margins are so good 
that you basically from from ten years ago, your margins are so good that you haven't had to raise that price. Well, like it's kind of like also like a staple for their brand as well. That so it's the ninety nine cents. Change it, people are gonna stop buying it immediately. Mm. I know, like yeah, that happened with the big chicken. <laughs> like, no, they, they raised the price of the big chicken from a dollar to a dollar fifty, and their sales dropped by like fifty percent. So they just put it back. Well, I wonder if there's like a a board meeting where they're having uh, they're talking about the iced tea, and they're like, "Well, we can't raise the price from a dollar because that's the staple, but we're gonna have to just like put like recycled water in it or something like we have to put like." different water that's not so expensive we can't do filter no more we have to put blackish water in it it's tea you're not gonna taste it yeah, yeah you never know you never know right yeah everything i took a marketing class this last semester uh uh-huh. maybe look at everything so differently really like everything everything at the store like where it's placed on the shelf uh-huh. like to like the height of the prices all plan like it's like they they know what they're doing and like for like cereal for example kids cereal is oh, on yeah. the bottom shelf or like adult oh, yeah, cereals yeah. on the top shelf so. yeah that like, seems like like that seems like high school level marketing class though like what did you learn next level well no that's it was basically it was like a basic marketing class. oh it was so it's kind of like a high school marketing class yeah pretty much it was it was like intro to marketing man i just, I just needed to get it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he did make it pretty interesting because he like it was all he pretty much did all real world. If so I was that professor, my brain cells would be rotted. No, yeah, it's the most. It was the easiest class I think I've ever. You sat there. Do you office. do you remember like the the mall days, like going to the mall? Mm-hmm. Do you remember they would like approach you about cereal and want you to like taste cereal? You never had that happen. Well, I've seen perfume and like yeah. shit like that. So when I was a kid, this is pre-internet and everything. They would approach you. They would approach kids, and they would be like, "We want to give your kid some cereal, and we want him to taste it. We want your kids to taste the cereal. It's a, it's a, it's a um, trial, and we'll take you in the back, and we'll give you like little <laughs> like." It'd be dry. They give you the cereal and let you eat it, and then you have to tell them what you think about it. And that happened to me a bunch of times. Like you'd be at like the mall, and you end up tasting cereal because the cereal companies they had no idea what to put in the cereal. Bro, so, what mall you you going to, bro? Eastland. Like I'm missing out. Eastland. Eastland. I haven't yeah. been there. I've been to the comb. Well, Eastland's been closed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, never in those. I went to the black malls. <laughs> 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 black kids they come and mess with the little black kids and give them poison cereal. Oh my god. See, see these little black kids cereals they want to eat. <sighs> Already on a goddamn. Yeah, that's what that was, that's what was going on. Marketing's cool though, man. That's a really good thing to know. I, I don't know about like the, the, the grocery marketing situation that you're talking about with the, yeah, the place that helps yeah. see I never knew that till now yeah, when well, you think about Home Depot like how they how they place everything in Home Depot it's like so strategic okay we're like the, like the aisle and caps those are always the most expensive because you know well, everybody you walk past it the most so. but it's easy like put candy in the checkout so you stand in there looking at the checkout what is that oh Typical basketball city trash. Gatorade bottles here and there. That ass, bro. Mm. Um, yeah, marketing. That kind of marketing to me seems kind of boring. Like a grocery store. I think it'd be boring to get into, but it's interesting just to like see it. You know what I mean? Like you kind of like just look at the store differently. All right, so you took yeah. a marketing class. Say if I was like, all right, you got you got a marketing class. Maybe I'll hire you for this lawn business. Help me get some lawns. What should we do? Like, what do you think? <laughs> oh, you want to know. Like, what should we do? Get some, get some more houses. properties. Yeah, let's get some houses. How do we market? Like, shit. 
<laughs> oh, dude, that, tra- that class is trash. No, it definitely was. Like, I don't. I, I just memorized it for the exams, and then that's it. Yeah. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you for that. That one. Man. Honestly, like, I don't know, like, I don't know how much money it is to make billboards and stuff like that. Or, like billboards. Ads. You think well, billboards? Like, billboards probably don't even. Nah, not now. As much nowadays, but. A, Actually, lawn, yeah, a they, lawn mowing but, billboard. To be honest, you already got a handle, Sean. Need, need snow, uh, need snow done, need, um, Like you already got the stickers on your trucks. You already got the shirts. You already got the cards. What else you want? Channels. Commercial. Well, the YouTube channels, pretty much. Yeah, like YouTube that. channels are you pretty go. good. Now you're talking. Like if you had a freaking YouTube lawn channel, like say our business, like me, I'm gonna clean my act up. I'm gonna stop saying egregious stuff, and I'm gonna make mm-hmm. videos, and we're gonna talk about plowing. Hey, we're here plowing. Which we should do that today. Maybe I'll just do a normal video and just be a normal. Dad, as we have been talking about plowing. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll just talk about plowing and be a normal vaccinated citizen and just yeah. be like, a, a, be just normal, so people can look at it and they could be like, oh, I want to hire that guy. Like he's super squared away, straight and narrow guy, and all he wants to do is plow snow, and he doesn't have any political views or anything like that. That would be the way to do it. That would be the way to market. Well, you might as well get rid of all your videos, bro. <laughs> What do you think? You think it hit that one more time? It just doesn't look great, you know. Just put some salt on it and call it a day. I'm, a, I'm definitely about to spread some. TikTok or something. I know, right? A TikTok, shit. probably. I don't, I don't know a whole bunch about TikTok. I've seen a lot of TikToks from lawn landscaping companies and shit, and like guys that do their own shit. A lot of them are trying to be uh, like famous, TikTok famous. They're not trying to use it as a storyboard to sell their product necessarily. Yeah, you know, necessarily. Like a little bit though. A little sometimes. That would be the way though. That would be the way to to market your product. Is to, yeah, get famous somewhere. To just be that guy in St. Clair Shores that does the service. Right. Like, oh, maybe and you're I just telling yourself, TikToks. you're just showing yourself genuinely doing the service, and you're just like. This is me. I'm doing like a, like we, our core aeration videos that we did. <laughs> Jesus. You know what I mean? I don't even get any star on those, videos. bro. I hated that. Bring <laughs> out your core air rating and blah, 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 blah. And you just show yourself core air rating and everything. You just talk normal. Jeez, the one thing I hate about this job is core, core aeration. It wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad. What a couple houses. Like the first one is like, are you kidding me? Like, I was like, I can't just let him do it by himself and be so pissed <laughs> that ain't right <laughs> you know what i mean that ain't right well so. i was like god damn am i gonna do everett's house alone i know but then you got that like, second one i was like thank Tyson god got 12 houses and <laughs> there's two aerators but i won't be going i'd be like oh i got you don't worry i'll be done around 10 o'clock at you, night you would but if i started off that way you would be like oh fuck no like I would think even, about it for like the whole time. No, I'll just be mad or be like, all right, at least I hope I get like at least a bonus or something. Something. <laughs> yeah. Get a bonus for that, man. If it ain't that, that I'll be like, all right, well, cool. You gotta get something for that. Man. Cause you'll be hurting, man. Once you get used to it, though. It's, it's not, not bad, deal, yeah. But. It was just a bitch. But the first couple was like... Well, the motherfucker kept on wanting to drag you, basically. Yeah. Like, once you get used to the idea that you gotta just be patient and work with it and not, like, whip it around, mm-hmm. you, you're good. <laughs> that looks a little bit better. You got some OCD for snow. Yeah, man, you got to. You got to. <laughs> Why is that? Because you want to do the best work possible. You hear that? You hear that, folks? That's why I contact uh, Stokes Outdoors. We're still in, I should change my name to Two Strokes. I think now will be appropriate because people having strokes. Usually two. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, two strokes. Oh, I get it. 
Yeah, everyone's having strokes from the virus. He had two strokes. Get it? Or the vaccine, whatever the fuck. <laughs> God damn. Lord, I should change my lawn name to Pfizer. Damn. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, you'll be yeah. famous. You know how many I would get? Yeah. Because you hear like there's a there's like a chocolate company named Pfizer or something that like all of a sudden they just sell chocolates and they that they were just a coincidence that their name was the same as Pfizer's. Mm. Or Moderna, one of them. I think it was Moderna, like Moderna chocolate. Mm. And then all of a sudden, like we are selling a lot of chocolate. <laughs> People probably look up Moderna, and then like that's the first thing that or really, the first thing that pops up is the vaccine. The second thing that pops up is an ad for chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> it's like okay. <laughs> we want chocolate too. Yeah. Why not? Fuck it. Alright guys, so we are headed to a site right now. We got a guy out plowing and we are going to check on him to see what we, he's doing, see how he's doing. Uh, anyway, let's warp forward to see where he is at. Alright, we are pulling up here. Let's see how he is doing. Uh, he should be around back. Yeah, he's uh, looking pretty good there. He's moving along. Let's see here. Moving right along. It would have been better if we did this during the storm. This is way after days and I like a whole day after. But yeah, it's coming along good. Real nice. He's actually moving with the truck. Good deal. Good deal. All right, guys, that's it, and that's that. Made it through our first storm, first storm of the year here in January. It's crazy that it's been this slow of a year, but I'm glad that we made it. Uh, I, I'm very fortunate to have the help that we had, and that's it, guys. That was it. Uh, sorry about the audio being a little bit uh, faint, and sometimes it's kind of hard to pick up audio from multiple angles like that, but I'll figure something out as far as picking up more audio. Hopefully I didn't offend with some of the talk. I don't know if the C word came up or not. It might have somewhere. But uh, that's it for the video, guys. Happy New Year to everybody. Merry Christmas to everybody. But this is DS Trucks. My name is Sean. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Over and out.